What's up guys, it's Clark with Left Hook Videos and today in this vlog we are going to break down the interview style video. Number one, when somebody, a subject, is able to sit and look at another human instead of this camera lens, it really does bring a lot more confidence, especially not everybody is super charismatic, not everybody is confident in front of a camera. So just from a practical standpoint, when they're staring at another person, uh, that alone makes them feel a little bit more at ease, which could make your shoot go a lot better. Number two, people have a hard time remembering lines, remembering what they wanted to say. And if they write it down or if they're on a teleprompter, uh, they're more apt to be robotic and to be just reading. We found that it's a lot more authentic uh, and engaging when someone is answering another person's question. Another amazing thing that happens when doing interview style videos is that emotions are unleashed into the lens. Uh, for instance, if, if I'm interviewing somebody that owns a nonprofit that puts clean water into third world countries and that person has a script, or that person has um, cue cards, they can look into the camera and they can deliver what's written and they could possibly get emotional. If I'm interviewing them and you know I am sitting right here and they're looking at me and I am asking them questions based off of their answers, emotions generally tend to come out. And a tip is when they get emotional, shut up. Don't say a word. If someone's having a hard time gathering themselves, let them have a hard time gathering themselves. The more times you can get somebody to reveal their heart and, and how it, their organization really makes them feel, the better your video is going to be. A couple of things uh, to do and not to do, in my opinion, are if you are the interviewer and you have a notepad and paper and you're, you're gonna take notes, what I always do is at the very beginning of the interview, uh, number one, I tell the person, hey, we're just having a conversation, don't worry about these lenses, don't worry about these scary looking guys behind the cameras. Uh, you and I are having a conversation. Another thing that I do is I let them know right up front and I'm gonna have a notepad and I'm gonna be taking notes and I'm taking notes, I'm really writing down follow-up questions. So if I have my list of questions, but their answers are making me think of, oh, I need to follow up, I need to hit them with this, I'll write it down so I don't forget because who knows how long they're going to speak for. I let them know that I'm gonna do that. And I tell them if I look down to write, to just stare at me in my forehead, because I don't want to distract them by them looking down at my note taking, but I also don't want to not take the note. Another big thing I would say is it is your job as the interviewer or as the director to make sure that the person, the subject in the chair feels um, heard and feels uh, comfortable and is not distracted. Meaning, uh, if you're doing the interviewing, you can never touch your phone. You can, you can never, you can never spend too long looking in another direction. They will, they will feel like you're not listening, you don't care. Same with your team. You want to make sure that nobody's on their phone ever. You might not get that person in that state of mind again. You might not have those amazing answers again. And if you have to like call cut in the middle of an amazing answer because somebody on your team, we're not going to call them idiots, doesn't turn their phone off, you're going to be pissed. But more than that, <laughs> you've possibly ruined something. Uh, that could have been magical. Last but not least, basic tips I would say are never ever, ever interrupt them. Even if they're not answering the question that you asked, never. You don't know how people's minds work, you don't know how they're gonna come around to it, and this is their video. If they're sitting in the chair, they're most likely the client or the talent of the client, and you don't interrupt them no matter what. Be smart enough to know they didn't answer your question, and my advice would be to wait a few, come back around and ask that question again. I like to tell people so they don't feel like they're not doing a good job, even if they're not doing a good job, I like to tell them, I might be asking some questions that have similar answers and that's okay, we just wanna get them both ways. So now those are just my tips. Uh, I think between Tony and I over the years, we've done, I don't know, 500 uh, interviews. Really, interview style is, uh, is a major part of what we do.